Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are going to talk about a different type of motor. This time we are going to talk about this here. This is a step motor. Okay? You see it looks already a little bit different than the DC motor or the servo motor. It has much more connections. Well, and a stepper motor. What is it? Okay? A stepper motor actually can turn left, can turn right, but not any to any position. It, the position of the rotor can only be changed in steps. All right. So how is this working? The internal construction might differ, yeah, or differs for sure. But from principle, from basic principle, you can think about that. Yeah, that you have somewhere. Here, let's say, a coil, and here, the next coil, all right, on the outside, on the stator. Yeah? So, here is one coil, and here we have a second coil. They are both equally strong. Now imagine, we have here something which is attracted to a magnetic field. Right? If we turn on this coil, this will move exactly to this position. So we will see it standing like this. Okay? If we turn on both coils, yeah, then we will see it. I will make it brown, the middle position, exactly in the middle of those two. Yeah? And then if we are turning off this coil, we will see the middle part, the rotating part, pointing to this coil. Yeah? So if we move, if we first put this, then both, then this, then we are moving in steps. Yeah? And that's it. Yeah? This is the basic principle of a stepper motor. We are turning on and off little magnets in there, and the magnets will move the rotating part into a certain direction. Yeah? And if we turn it the other way around, yeah? it's simply by switching on and off, the coils there in a different pattern, it will move in the other direction. Yeah? And it will even have quite a moment yeah? to blocking moment. Yeah? This is how a stepper motor from principle is working. <sighs> it, the, the reality is a little bit more complex, but you can think about it working like that. Okay, this should be sufficient for us. Uh, this specific stepper motor even has a gearbox inside. So, of course, the shaft, you see the shaft is out of the center. So, this already indicates, oh, there must be some gears. So, there is also a ratio between the rotating of this shaft and the internal rotating of the rotor. Okay? Usual sizes. Uh, you, parameters of a stepping motor are how many steps per rotation. The internal part here, this one, has 64 steps per rotation. These are uh, 5.6 to 5 degree. Okay? So every time I change something on the coil, the internal part will move 5.6 degrees in steps. Okay? The gearbox ratio is 1 divided by 64. Yeah? So if the internal part is doing 64 rotations, the external part is only doing 1. Yeah? So externally, it looks like we have 4096 64 times 64, 
steps per rotation. This is really tiny. You can only feel it at the beginning. Yeah, it will. Okay. And of course, we need some driving element. Of course, we again have the the uh, case that our Arduino is not powerful enough. So we have to use here a driving element, motor driver, stepper motor driver. You also have it in your breadboard, uh, in your starter kit, yeah. looking like this. The connector is fitting perfectly inside. And here, these are the in one to in four, we can control with our Arduino. Okay? So this is how a stepper motor is working and how we can control this with our Arduino. What to do? We will see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.